Let's do something creative with the reverb here. Let's put it 100% um, wet and group it. And put in another chain, like a dry chain. Hi guys, this is Mirror. If you'd like to see how I made that track on the intro, this video was taken from a full length production tutorial where I go into depth on my dub techno creation process. Um, it's available to view on my Patreon. There's also exclusive content up on there, regular uploads of samples, and you'll be able to download all the Ableton live sets from my YouTube tutorials. I'd love to see you there. It's all linked down in the comments. And without further ado, let's get to this. And on this reverb, I'm gonna put uh, a vocoder. And we set the carrier to come from this track, um, pre-FX, yeah. Uh, what if we put the vocoder before the reverb? Okay, that's working. Now we're talking, it's sounding pretty cool. And we could modulate this format with a Max for Live LFO. Change it to a retro. It sounds pretty cool. Try some attack. It's sounding pretty cool. about with these filters. I'm just going to turn the mix down a little bit on the vocoder. Let's put some delay on here. Um, but let's do something creative with this delay too. Um, let's make it 100% aware. And let's put a gate on there. Um, oh, let's put the gate before the delay. That's sounding pretty good. 
Yeah, I'm really liking the sound of that. I might, might just leave it kind of like that. Let's mess about with the filter. On the delay, give it some modulation. And let's get some dynamic tube. Uh, let's put a uh, um, a dry chaining because at the moment we've only got that delay. So let's put a I'll just turn the dry chain down. And let's give it some tube distortion. 